okay hello everyone welcome to this quick how to about using the tree view control and uh, using the data grid view control as well together in order to display master detail information from a database server okay uh, first of all I have this uh, uh, database it's a very simple one I have a master detail tables the first one is called employees the information here is very simple you have an ID of the employee and the name the second one which is working days it it has uh, the ID of the employee and the days he's gonna work okay so the first employee works on Saturday Monday Tuesday second one works on Wednesday Thursday or Friday and so on now uh, we are gonna uh, work on that and see how we can create a, a master details view okay so the first stage you want to create a tree view control to display the information of the employees only okay uh, without any details so uh, first thing to do obviously is to place a tree view control and where is that uh, okay so this is the tree view control okay uh, I am gonna create the root node here okay add uh, the text will be employees and the ID will be for example let's say root to identify the root node okay so this is the root node first thing we need to do is as soon as we open the form all the information should be uh, should should be inserted into the tree view all the information about uh, all the names of the employees should be inserted into the tree view okay so basically I forgot to to add the data source to the project so add the data source here it's a database of course and I'm gonna use the SQL Express edition here and uh, okay these are the tables I want to use both tables and finish so waiting for a while okay so there we go now first thing to do is to drag the employees table drop it on the form okay now I'm gonna remove that now the reason I did this is to get these control placed right away with all the binding and stuff like that uh, so that uh, we don't do any kind of mistakes okay so this is the first thing now uh, now double click the form okay now the code here uh, is gonna deal with following the tree okay so full the tree control dimension ID um, string and dimension name as uh, string uh, dimension I as integer for I equals 0 to uh, now test data set dot employees uh, dot count minus one okay ID equal test data set dot employees dot rows of I dot item of zero the next one is name equal test data set uh, dot employees uh, dot rows of i dot item of one now we got the name and the I, uh, id we are gonna f put, uh, create a node and place it under the root node okay so here uh, tree view one dot nodes of zero this will get me their root node dot nodes go to the children of the root node dot add I'm gonna create a new node here the ID this is the ID and this is the text I'm gonna see okay uh, this is pretty much the code so finally we have tree view one dot expand all okay uh, run this code to make sure it works before going to the next step and there we go this is the information of our employees okay these are the names 
Next, we want to, uh, or what we want to do is whenever we select an employee here, we should see the details. So the code here is going to be also uh, simple, not much coding. Okay. Uh, the first thing is to uh, is to select the working days, okay, and drag that, drop it on the form, okay. So now, to what we have here. Okay, just to make it look good. Okay, and just a little. Okay, so now we have this is the details table. What we want to do is when we select the uh, specific employee, the details should be placed in in the data grid view. Okay, so I'm gonna change this uh, the name of this one. Okay, so WD for working day. Okay, or let me call it DGV for data grid view. Now, double click on the tree uh, view after select. First thing to do, if we didn't select anything, the uh, the details table, the, uh, the data grid view should be empty. So if uh, tree view one dot selected node is nothing, then uh, data grid view dot data source equal nothing and exit sub. Next, if we selected the root node, also we shouldn't display anything. So if tree view one dot selected node dot name uh, equal root, then tgv dot data source equal nothing. Okay. Next uh, and exit sub. Exit sub. Okay, finally, uh, if, uh, sorry, finally we are going to get the ID. Okay, so dimension ID as string and ID equal DGV, uh, sorry, tree view one, one dot selected node dot name. Okay, now we get the ID. Of course, the ID comes from uh, the, the code here. Okay, next uh, is to filter the table. Okay, so this is also very simple. DGV dot uh, data source equal um, test data set dot uh, working days dot select. Now select, uh, you can place your condition here, which is ID equal and uh, ID and bam. Uh, this is pretty much all the code. So let's run this. Okay, so click on Smith, you get his information. Click on Michael, click on John, click on employees, you get nothing. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, okay, uh, okay, so this concludes our how-to about displaying the master and detail table using uh, tree view control. Uh, if you have uh, questions uh, or notes, uh, send them to me. Also, check out the website. I will be posting the um, the source code of the project. Although you will have to modify the database uh, and, and create a similar database for your project to work. Okay. Uh, the important thing is that you will find the code. You can modify the code. Okay. So that will be all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.